the human heart was not designed at, at, at Harvard or Hollywood, it was designed in heaven. So we all want the thing we can't define. Uh, we're, we're all mystics deep down. We want, we want unlimited goodness, truth, and beauty. This is definitely the case. I mean, I would say in some sense by definition is that the most profound goods are reflected in the structure of the human heart. If people are striving forward, and I mean forward rather than downward, let's say, forward and uphill, they are by definition pursuing something that's a reflection of a transcendent good. It's transcendent because if they already had it, which means it would be imminent, if they already had it, they wouldn't have to pursue it. They posit something outside of themselves as better. And then the ultimate definition of that in some sense is the pursuit of the divinely good. And again, I see that as a matter of definition. And so now, you know, on the atheist front, I've read a lot of comments from atheists in my YouTube comment sections on my biblical lectures. I probably read at least hundreds of them and maybe thousands of them, but at least hundreds. And one of the things that has struck me continually is that many of the people who become atheists are reaction, are reactionary. And I don't mean that in a denigrating sense. A huge proportion of people who are stridently atheistic were hurt very badly by people who purported to be religious when they were young. And I think that also applies to Dawkins, by the way. Uh, I've seen some, some evidence for that in his public utterances. And so you have people who've been terribly betrayed by, what, by the agents of what was supposed to be the best. And so they carry that utter bitterness with them, that ultimate betrayal. Because I think there isn't anything worse in some sense than being betrayed by people who claim to be acting, let's say, in Christ's name. I mean, how could anything be worse than that? And so then they're driven to this atheism and they're so afraid then again to reestablish a new faith because they've been hurt so badly that they're willing to suffer this purgatorial drought of vision rather than to put themselves up on the chopping block one more time. <laughs> 